Hello everyone, it's Mark Shalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely gorgeous and authentic and rare 1968 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 RS that is completely original matching numbers and certified by Camaro expert Jerry McNeish. You've got to check this out. To start off this video here, uh, this is a non-rehearsed video. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of information that I do forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with a ton of highly detailed photos. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note, I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say that we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell. We document the work with an invoice. As an example, with this brand new binder that I put together for every vehicle we sell, the first thing that you see is the invoice that's provided by MS Classic Cars. If you look at this particular vehicle, you can see this invoice in our photo gallery. We invested a total of $10,317.28. Again, everything is fully documented. I'll say it over and over again, probably for the rest of my career, that regardless of who restored the vehicle, whether the vehicle is factory correct, or whether it's custom, they need to be serviced and sorted out. We have owned over 800 vehicles at MS Classic Cars over the years. We've never had a vehicle that hasn't required something. Some require more than others, but once again, we take all of that headache away for the new owner so when they get the vehicle, there's nothing to do except enjoy it. Once the vehicles are done through our vigorous service department, we detail these vehicles to the highest level, starting from the undercarriage and working our way to the top. We have two full-time detailers. We also have a part-time detailer. Uh, they spend an average of two days, uh, two guys per car, uh, so you could say four days if one man was working on it. That's how long we spend detailing these cars. Again, we want to make them as great for the new owners as possible. Uh, also, I'd like to make a comment that uh, MS Classic Cars is very, very well known for first-generation Camaros. I am very proud to say uh, that we've owned some of the best first-generation Camaros in the world. We're talking a 67 Legend. Uh, we're talking about a few 68 Legends. We're talking about 569 Legends. Legends are cars that were judged at the highest level. Only a few car, uh, cars of different year generations have achieved the Legend certification through the Camaro Nationals. I have been a proud owner of those cars. I've also become very friendly with Camaro expert Jerry McNeish and Norman Meads of Camaro High Performance. Uh, so once again, just many, many, many years 
of first generation Camaros, not just factory correct Camaros, but also custom Camaros. You can see all those vehicles on our website sold page, again, at msclassiccars.com. So this particular vehicle here, uh, this has been something that's been in the warehouse uh, on display. Uh, it's a vehicle that I'm super, super proud to present to you. This is a very rare car, so let's get into the details. Uh, I am going to read to you uh, the paragraph uh, that is basically off of our website here. I'm just going to kind of bounce back and forth between reading some of these notes and then talking about it in the more detail. So here we go. This beautiful 1968 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 RS is a great example of a rare and authentic original matching numbers first generation Camaro. It was certified by Camaro expert Jerry McNeish of Camaro High Performance on January 3rd, 2023. That's right. Jerry was just here a few weeks ago certifying multiple cars for me. This certification on this car is fresh. Very important. If you don't know, there, I hate to say this, but 60, 65, 70%, somewhere in that range, you'll have to get into it more with Jerry McNeish and his books that he's written. Uh, most of these cars that you see are fake. These are cars that have been rebodied. Uh, the trim tags are fake. Uh, paperwork is fake. Uh, people restamp engine blocks. They restamp transmissions, rear ends, et cetera, et cetera. It's just a uh, kind of a shady thing that goes on in the classic car world. So if you are looking for a true authentic car, I would highly recommend only purchasing one that has been certified. Uh, I can't say enough about that. As this car was certified, it retains its original VIN tag, okay, which on a Camaro can be found in the Georgium in 1968. It also has its original hidden VIN in the upper cowl area, okay, up in the top of the cowl. There's actually a hidden VIN number that a lot of people aren't aware of. This car has that original untampered with uh, VIN, which was stamped. It has the original trim tag which gives a lot of important information about the car, such as the color of the exterior, interior, and so forth. Also, this car retains its original color combination. This is butternut yellow with black stripes and a black vinyl top. It also has its original 302 V8 engine. This is the engine this car was born with. Okay, people say matching numbers. Again, that's kind of a loose term. We use the term original matching numbers. That means the motor is original to the car. It has the original matching numbers transmission. This car also has the original rear end. And important, this car has a ton of original parts, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. So in 1968, a total of 7,199, that's a super low number, Chevrolet Camaro Z28s were built. Of those, roughly 20% were equipped with the RS package. That's the Rally Sport package, which this particular car has, and it was born with that package. It makes this example very collectible. As the original trim tag indicates, this car was built on the second week of December 1967, which makes it a very early car. Early production 302 emblem Z28s are rare and more desirable than the later production Z28s. So as you probably already know, but if you don't, I'll mention it, the Z28 first came about in 1967. They only made 602 in 1967. The early model 68s, which were built in late 67, are very collectible because of that emblem uh, deal. You'll have to do some more homework on that. This is an early car. This is very, very collectible amongst the true enthusiasts. Again, I can't say enough about that. So this vehicle, again, was ordered with Y2, which is butternut yellow, with black racing stripes exterior, 712, which is black standard bucket seat interior, A01, which is tinted glass, C08, which is the vinyl roof cover, D55, which is the center console. This is a center console car with gauges, which is really cool. Uh, G80, which is the Posi track uh, axle with the 410 gear ratio, another cool feature. This car also has uh, J52, which is the power disc brakes, M21, which is a four-speed manual transmission, N34, which is the wood steering wheel, 
U17, which is the special instrumentation, Z22, which is the rally sport equipment, and Z28, which is the special engine and equipment package. So that's what this car was born as. It is a really sweet car with some great options. If you haven't seen this color in person, it's awesome. From the information gathered, this car came from California before making its way to the East Coast. It was purchased in 1988 by a gentleman named Scott Bream, who lives in Florida. Scott and I uh, have become friends. I'd like to give him a shout out. Uh, he's a great guy. He's also friendly with Jerry McNeish as well. And again, uh, he contacted us. He saw this car. Uh, I believe it was on our social media uh, way back when, when it was in our showroom before we ever even started the service process. And um, he had made a comment that he thought it was his car. He contacted us. One thing led to another. And uh, I got a ton of great information from him and we've since become friends. Again, I'd uh, like to give uh, shot, Scott a shout out. So Scott knew how important uh, this car was, how special it was, and he wanted to restore it back to its glory days. His plan was to restore the car as correctly as possible, so he connected with Jerry McNeish of Camaro High Performance for guidance. It even says that in the Jerry McNeish report, which I'm going to get into uh, in a minute. Once the restoration was completed in 1991, that's right, this car was completed over 30 years ago. Uh, this is the real McCoy that you're looking at here today. Um, he kept the car for the next three years before deciding to sell it in 1994. Now, here's something really cool. In 1994, uh, back, you know, before the days of internet and all this kind of stuff, this, which MS Classic Cars has been a member uh, and a dealer uh, as far as Hemmings Motor News is concerned, we've had a showcase on their website for many, many, many years, but this was the Bible of how to buy and sell a car. Uh, so in this magazine, I've made a little post-it note here. This is the ad that actually was posted on the car from Scott in 1994. Again, you cannot make it up. He goes in to say here, this is a 68 RSZ28. Uh, he talks about the production, the fact that it's a California car, uh, all the numbers match, date code correct. He goes into the distributor, the carburetor, the intake, the heads, the alternator, air pump. Wires are correct. He talks about the wheels, the transmission, the color. And he even says here, a uh, past Super Chevy winner, car has been critiqued by Jerry McNeish. If you could imagine, uh, and you want to hear something even scarier, the car was advertised for $19,500. That's crazy. But anyway, I graduated high school in 1994, so we're going way, way back. So this book is included, definitely a piece of history with this car. We've made pictures of that in our photo gallery, so you clearly can see the ad, the magazine, etc. Uh, just really cool information. Uh, so the car uh, was at some point purchased uh, by a gentleman by the name of Michael Williams, who lives in Delaware. Michael knows Jerry McNeish as well. Uh, Gary, uh, uh, Michael rather, wanted to make the car even better than what Scott had done. Uh, so he really wanted to get into some of the fine details of the car. Uh, so he connected uh, with Jerry McNeish to do all the work at Camaro High Performance. Jerry still does work at his facility, but all this time later, he's become so big and so many people are utilizing his skills and talents to do certifications across the country. Uh, Jerry works for Barrett Jackson, you know, going through all the Camaros and Chevelles and Novas, blah, blah, blah. It's very hard to get Jerry in the shop with his crew to do work. But at the time, uh, this gentleman, Michael, was able to get all that done, uh, which was great. So Jerry started working on everything uh, in March of 2003, and he finished in February of 2005. So this car really was uh, kind of part of Jerry McNeish. Uh, again, he goes in his report to saying that he's known about this car for over 30 years, which is really awesome. Michael at the time, and again, we're going back a long time ago. We're going back 17, 18 years ago. He invested almost $15,000 with Jerry, uh, rebuilding the engine and again, doing a, all the work to the car that was done. All of those invoices we have, every one of the invoices 
uh, that he had had done starting from 2003 and working our way all the way through 2005 are included with this car. Again, you can't say enough about that. I even included a picture when it was in Jerry McNeish's facility with the engine out of the car. We got some pictures of the engine uh, that after the restoration was completed and so forth of the motor. Uh, so again, all of those receipts can be seen crystal clear in our photo gallery. I actually scanned them uh, so they come through as a, a bigger attachment so you can actually read them uh, and so forth. Really, really cool information. The car was actually entered into judging competition through the vintage Chevrolet Cull of America. Some people will reference it as the VCCA, where it achieved Junior, Senior, and Preservation Award. The car was purchased by MS Classic Cars in July of 2022. Again, we had it on display in our museum. A lot of people don't know that we have a lot of cars that are in our warehouses. We put them on display. Uh, some cars have been in there for two years, a year, six months. It's not like we buy something, get it right into service, and then do a quick turnaround and stuff. Sometimes I decide when to pull cars out and so forth. Uh, once in a while, we will get a car in. We'll do kind of a quicker uh, deal with it and get it listed faster. But this particular car, I've actually had this car for a while. Uh, it was something I was super excited about and just wanted to wait for the right time to list it. And again, here we are in January of 2023. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the exterior of the car. Um, the exterior of this car is in beautiful condition, again, especially considering that it was restored 30 years ago. During the restoration, the only sheet metal that required to be replaced was the hood, which Scott replaced the hood with an NOS, that stands for New Old Stock Hood, which fits absolutely beautiful. And the car also required half quarters. The quarters in the back, down toward the bottom, had some rust and so forth. So rather than replacing the whole quarter, they do what's called a half quarter on the bottoms, which came out absolutely beautiful. Everything else on this car uh, regarding the sheet metal is believed to be original. The body uh, is super straight on this car. It's got great gap lines. The hood opens and closes beautifully. The doors close really solid. The deck lid closes nicely. It is a really, really nice uh, bodied car. Again, it was refinished in its original color, which is butternut yellow. This is a lacquer paint job. Again, remember when this car was restored. I have to give the team at MS Classic Cars uh, in the detail room credit. They did an amazing job with this car. When Jerry McNeese saw this car, I, he was blown away by the quality of it. This does not appear to be a 30-year restoration. The paint looks beautiful still. It really shines. Uh, during the restoration process, everything on the exterior was replaced, restored, and gone through. The glass is beautiful. Everything is stamped. The chrome mirror was replaced, wiper arms, the grill, the headlights, all the emblems. Uh, it just goes on and on. Everything, the bumpers, the taillights, the bezels, the gas cap, everything is new. Uh, when we look at the, um, the wheels and the tires, I want to make note here uh, that the car sits on the original uh, dated D as in David, F as in Frank, wheels and trim tags. Okay, so those are authentic. The wheels are wrapped with brand new Goodyear Wide Tread GT E70 15 tires, which were added by MS Classic Cars. That's one of the things that we did. Right now, there's a huge, huge, huge demand for these tires. There's a huge back order. We had to wait like three or four months to get tires for this car. So I actually ordered like five sets. We'd have them for cars down the road, but these tires make a huge difference in the way the car drives. Uh, having new tires is, is awesome. Uh, so again, that kind of sums up the exterior. You'll clearly see that the RS headlights work beautifully. We service those at the dealership and you'll see all the great photos that Corey shot. It's a very, very special car. When we get into the interior, um, the interior is in beautiful condition throughout. It was correctly restored, again, in its original color of black. Um, it's equipped with standard bucket seats, center console engages. It's equipped with something that is pretty rare um, it, to see still in the car, the original 6,000 RPM redline 7,000 RPM tachometer. Again, that tachometer is in really nice shape. I will make one comment about the tach. It has a built-in clock. The clock does not work in the tach. 
and that tack um, is off a little bit. So I just want to make a comment on that. In order to fix the tack so it reads exactly accurately, it would have to be sent out and repaired, uh, but it's working well enough where we didn't think it was worth uh, going through all that extra locomotion. I just want to make sure I mentioned it and be uh, as transparent as possible. So again, everything in the interior, headliner, dash pad, dash hardware, steering column, door sills, door panels, door hardware, carpeting, console, nuts and bolts, everything in this interior is in absolutely beautiful condition and it was done exactly the way it came from the factory. Scott had told me that he thinks that the steering wheel is in this car is the original steering wheel because when he got the car way back when this steering wheel was in here it's in really nice shape uh, so we believe it is original to the car i just want to make sure to mention that if you look at the trunk compartment in this car the trunk compartment is beautiful open up the trunk you'll see the jack uh, tool instructions and everything on the back the stickers it's got beautiful gaskets and everything you look at the correct uh, trunk splatter paint you look at the correct uh, style trunk mat. It's got a full spare. It's got all of its tools back there. The trunk is in beautiful condition as the rest of the car is. Now, as we make our way to the engine compartment, uh, you will see clearly in all of our photos that we've taken, it's very, very nice, very detailed. And again, it has many correct parts. It was completely restored. It was painted in the original color of black. The hidden VIN number on the upper cowl, once again, is there. It's original and authentic. The car, again, is powered by the original matching numbers 302 V8. That was factory rated with 290 horsepower. The engine was completely rebuilt by Jerry McNeish himself. How cool to have an engine that Jerry actually rebuilt. Uh, nobody does it like Jerry. Uh, again, that's his cup of tea. Jerry's into drag racing. People don't know this, but he's got some serious mechanical skills beyond his expertise with uh, what's correct and what's not from a judging standpoint. Uh, once again, this engine uh, has a V1127MO assembly date. Uh, it's got a 678 block casting. It's got the cast K187 and the VIN number stamped on the block. It's equipped with many original parts, such as the Holly carburetor, the distributor, the Delco starter, the alternator. Again, all of that stuff is numbered and dated in our description. Uh, the engine is cooled by the original uh, OD radiator, which uh, dates L of 1967. So again, this was an early car, so everything lines up. Uh, it even has the original fan clutch and flan, uh, fan blade, which is unique to a Z28 option. The engine sounds awesome through the factory manifolds and dual exhaust system. Uh, again, this engine runs beautiful. Uh, you're going to hear when I start this how fast it starts, how well it runs. This is one of the best running, most powerful Z28s that we've owned. Uh, it drives as good as it looks. It's truly a spectacular car. The transmission um, is also original matching numbers. It's a Muncie four-speed. Uh, again, it shifts beautiful through all the gears. The transmission has the P8S22 assembly date. Again, 660 case and the VIN number stamped on top of the case. Um, the original Muncie speedometer hole is stamped out uh, uh, below the windshield wiper on the firewall, which is a factory original deal and correct. Very important when you're trying to see if a car is correct that that uh, is there. Jerry mentioned that in his report. Uh, the power is transferred to the original matching numbers 12 volt posi track rear end again with 410 gears the rear end uh is a bv0912 g2 assembly date and again has the 860 nf casting uh which is the i57 uh, again all original matching numbers drivetrain very hard to find uh, on top of the Rally Sport package and 68Z28. Uh, so, getting to the undercarriage. Uh, the undercarriage is also nicely detailed. Uh, it's got tons of original correct parts. Um, the original floors are in great condition. They were painted, again, in the correct color of black. Everything was replaced or restored, including all the steering components, suspension components, braking system, and fuel system. It has the original GM four leaf springs in the rear, which is standard again with the Z28 option 1968. It also has the original uh, brake booster. Again, you can get on to all the dates in our description afterwards. Uh, same thing with the master cylinder uh, and so forth. So in closing, this is a rare, authentic, early built 1968 Camaro Z28 RS 
that is completely matching numbers throughout. The fact that it's been certified by Camaro expert Jerry McNeish makes it a true blue chip investment. So once again, uh, you can see why I was so excited to present this car. Uh, this is a very, very special car. You clearly understand why. One of the best examples of a 68 Z28 that we've ever had at MS Classic Cars. Uh, this is something that uh, the next new owner is gonna be extremely, extremely proud to own. Uh, so with that being said, I'm gonna conclude this video. Before I do so, I would ask if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. It's the best way to stay in contact with MS Classic Cars. We have thousands of people on the email list. We also would ask that you follow us on all the social media networks. We're on every network. So please, uh, it's a great way to keep in touch with the dealership and what we have going on. Uh, I'll say it over and over again that MS Classic Cars, we are clearly not a huge dealership or a huge company, but we are doing huge things. Do your homework on us. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this car. Light listen how beautiful it runs. Watch this, the flick of a key. You can't make that up. It runs absolutely beautiful. We appreciate you watching this video. You know what time it is, rock and roll.